Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our EU4 Let's Play as Sweden, where it seems Europe is in a not a very great state right now. Uh, we're at war with England, Austria, and the Isles. In with our ally France, who, uh, yeah, we seem to be winning, but um, not without the, <laughs> the loss of basically most of Scot Scotland in uh, anything they're worth. So they're basically dead. The old alliance is probably dead too, to be honest. Nope, they still have it. That's cool. Yeah, and uh, everything that could possibly be going wrong is basically going really wrong for me right now, so... Yeah... I'm just gonna pretend that, uh... I'm not retarded in that. I totally didn't put that fort maintenance down when I knew... I, uh, should have kept it up. Alright, that's the thing that's happening. So we're just gonna put all our, our forts up to, uh... To negate anything as retarded from happening, so. <sighs> and if not getting good stuff out of the war, at least we're going to be getting rid of our rebel problems, so. At least there's that. It looks like the Ottomans, though, are, uh, just taking a stroll through Europe. That makes me uncomfortable, like, really, really uncomfortable. I mean, I suppose I could ally Brandenburg, since they're probably one of the only uh, uh, countries that can really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Ottomans in terms of getting good with their military. Oh, that's going to be uncomfortable to walk into, but uh, I guess we're going to have to do it. Please at least make it there in time. Thank you. We're not actually losing this, though, right? Because we have... they have discipline? Because I have no clue, but we have superior numbers, which means we should beat them. There we go. See, I told you we weren't losing that war, or that battle, at least. I have lit- wait, hold on. I have never seen this kind of- Okay, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's just the icon for orthodox advisors. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. Probably right. Because I've never really, uh, seen that before. Race the Counter-Reformation. Do I want to be part of the Reformation is the real question. Before we start colonizing and have to murder our colony's liberty desire by switching their religions. The Counter-Reformation sounds pretty nice, except idea costs and technology costs are increased, and, uh... Yes, yes, I don't really like that. On the other hand, can our country actually manage any sort of reformation? Can we actually survive one? Seems the Protestant Reformation and the uh, Reformed Reformation, apparently, is also doing pretty well. Uh, looks like they're pretty alright. Okay, that's alright. Yeah, wait, uh, HRE. Eventually it's going to be a religious league war year, and uh, whoever the Ottoman side with, I guess, who I'm siding with, I may as well just join their faith in. So we're going to put that on the on the back pedal there and kind of wait for our opportunity. It will arise, I'm sure. Now, as for our war here, the uh, the English can't really do much. We could peace out ourselves. But uh, I don't think we want to do that. I think having some favors with, with France is much, much better. And did I just say I'd take a province? Never mind, I won't. Okay, so England actually did make a landing, which is interesting. I've never really seen England do that before, but uh, against the French troops, I suppose they're going to be basically nothing. Yeah, against this, the uh, French and Castilian troops, the English troops are basically just bad. Oh, we could get a Diplo Rep guy, or Carl becomes da He becomes Danish. He becomes Danish. What on earth does that mean? During his education hour air, Carl has become very close to our royal advisor, Svante de la Gardie. That sounded more French than Scandinavian, but... Forming a special bond both to him and the Danish people of his homeland. Carl's travels in our Danish lands have done wonders for the popularity of our dynasty, but has also raised more than a few eyebrows in Stockholm. Our nobles, led by demanding Ing and Karlström, are starting to worry that Carl will favor Danish subjects when he, be when he becomes a sense to the... Will favor Danish subjects when he becomes a sense the throne. Okay. 
and have begun to plot against him and Svante de la Gardie at court. They demand that we chastise the heir and guarantee the rights of the nobility. Hmm. Okay, so we could grab a guy or our heir to sort of change a little bit. Danish culture provinces lose the three unrest for 10 years, but we don't have many of those, so I don't care enough. Uh, we're gonna wait one month for a new guy to show up. It's fine, whoever just walked out there. What do we have? You're the prestige guy? I'll take him, he's fine. He's cool. He's chill. I'll take it. Right, yes, do we actually have a loan? We do have a loan, and we're losing tons and tons of money because that's, uh, that's fun. Reinforcements, that's why. Okay. That's, that's fine. Lithuania is uh, dead. Extremely, extremely dead. Besides a victory, Austrians did not lose anything, I do not believe. Oh, we'll see it soon to go. To Castile? What? Whoa, okay, right. I forgot Castile owned the uh, Burgundian area. Uh, I get like three power projection and like 0.1 prestige. I'll take it. And all that's left is England and the Isles. Now the French conquest of Calais is actually a French conquest of this area here, so we were actually at war with the English the entire time. Interesting. Now we're not making a naval landing anytime soon, no, 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 no not even slightly, but it looks like the, uh, the English have plans very, very different from mine. Hmm, okay. Not a big problem. We can just simply go over and destroy them, I guess. You think you can do anything against my armies, but you cannot. You can try, though, because you're not actually docking your ships there. You're doing the stupid thing in which you actually just land them there, which means you won't actually be able to reinforce in time. So, I mean, good luck with that. We're going to sit here and wait for you to come to us, because you can't be bothered to come to you, I guess. I mean, I suppose we're going to leave one army over there and then slowly squish them in as they probably don't want to face either army alone. Yeah, we, we should be fine. Oh, the Scottish are not doing fine, though. I love how, like, they just didn't give the Isles anything even though they occupy land. That's kind of funny, but... Yeah. Yeah, the English are trying to, like, siege me out of this war, but I don't get sieged out of wars. I'm sorry to tell you this, England, but uh, that's just not the way I go. In fact, I sooner die than get sieged down out of a war. Hmm. No, that's just not the way. It's not the way I play here. We're gonna get that army. He's not gonna be able to reinforce in time, which is fine because he's gonna be able to go and. Uh, Okay, they just recovered their morale uber quick. What on earth just happened? What? Like, I know they get morale from victory, right? But did they just, like, get full morale out of that? It makes no sense. No, wait, hold on. Show me your armies. Thought, show me your armies. Full morale, oh my god. So, okay, for the English armies, apparently, a victory and one tick of morale recovery is enough to go back to full, which makes me... Again, uncomfortable. Well, it might take me up to three or four months to get back to full. I don't, I don't even know, man. And they're reinforcing quickly, too, even though they're far away from their homeland. They're across the sea from their homeland. They're like, yeah, no, this is fine. They're fielding more troops than I am in a naval evasion, invasion. And that's... That's not cool. Friends, are you going to help me out or something? Or what? The Swedish were not meant to fight the English. I, c I could never have won this in a 1v1. Come on. I have, like, inferior navy, and even though their tactics for bringing men is kind of stupid in every single way, uh, it's just, it's, it's working, so. Thirty-four thousand men. If I stand in Finnmark with both armies, maybe I should be fine. 
but then they just decide to, to not. So, I mean, you go where you're going to go, all right? You're going you're gonna to head over to Finnmark, right? You're just going to suffer attrition, which is good for me, but also makes me uncomfortable that you're still reinforcing through attrition far away from your homeland. Now, I don't know what kind of infinite manpower you're pulling here, but... Ah, mercenaries, yes, that's the kind of quote-unquote infinite manpower that they're pulling here. Okay. Seriously? Seriously, another war. Another one. Wow, Europe is in such a mess right now. Seriously, you're gonna, you're gonna move? You're gonna do that to yourself? No, 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 one army's gonna move. The other one won't be able to. So, is, like, like, are you locked, or? Yes, okay, one army is locked, which means they'll be gone. No, they won't, because, <laughs> of course they won't. Of course they won't. Of course they won't. Yeah, this freaking game sometimes. That makes a whole lot of fucking sense. All right. Yes, I see you guys are being super effective here, stacking up your attrition. That's cool. Colonial K? Oh. That stuff over there. Okay. That's fine. I'm just waiting for the uh, the English to give up here, because this is taking forever. Yeah, okay, I can probably... Guess I'll just dive in, since these guys are deciding to run all the way back to... to Moscow. Better roast my own armies for a second, and I realize there's no, no sense in that. Seriously, I can't even click the fucking keyboard right? Okay, we're good. Jesus Christ. This is just freaking retarded. Alright. This is retarded. Where are you even going? White Corellia, because you guys like to stick together. Your freaking unstoppable 36 stack or whatever you have there. Okay. Yeah, you can try, but uh, my allies are sieging down everything you siege, so... So I freaking hate defensive wars. I mean, you're stacking up attrition on probably your ships, too, to be honest, when, once you start walking back. Well, you're not at war with Muscovy, so uh, you can try, but you're gonna have to walk back into my territory at some point. And considering you have less movement abilities than I do, then... I don't know. I don't know what you plan on doing here, but it's just not going to work out for you in the end. You're going to have to step on my troops at some point anyway. Yes, you are, uh, I'd say, trapped is the correct word here. Finally, Jesus Christ. Alright, we're good. And... Alright, the English have been defeated. At least one of their armies. Which was pretty hefty on them as well. We have the plus 25% war score with them. Come on, just piece them out for God's sake. All you wanted was freaking Calais, so do it. Remember that one time I said, hey, I'm not going to do much in this war at all, and then the English came? I swear to God, I mean, love... Nothing when you pick yourself up, for God's sakes. Look, I don't want to deal with a, a strong Livonian order. That's actually just a pain that I don't want to deal with, so... I mean, I'll, I'll do us all a favor here, right? I'm going to start sieging down their stuff. With my limited manpower here, by the way. And the only good thing that's actually coming out of this is the fact that my aggressive expansion is burning down while I'm going through all these freaking multiple wars that are burning my manpower and all my resources. I swear at some point I'm going to peace out if the French don't do it. I'm actually just so done right now. I'm so done. 
White piece from England. No, not. Mm. You should think, shouldn't you? No. Yeah, that's a no for that's a no for me, dog. You are getting murdered, and that is. Yeah, I'm getting my uh my favorites from the French. And you aren't stopping me. Very, very useful. I'm sure in the future, as I make them destroy their country too, just out of spite. I'm not salty. You are. Shut up. It's fine. All of my words. Oh, freaking final. I didn't even set a timer for this one, so I have no clue how overboard I'm going or not going. I just... Okay. <sighs> if I check the time here, it looks like... Hold on, what is that? Uh, seven minutes left or something like that. Hey, I mean, at least they lost more, but guess who lost a ton? And compa In comparison, I mean... Okay, I guess they lost more, but... Cede Calais to France. That's it. Revoke their claim on whatever. Wow, that's useless. Hey, well, I will get 226 ducats. Congratulations. That's not going to pay off all of the loans that I took out during these wars. Not to mention that I still have quite a ways to go when it comes to wars that I have to deal with. So needless to say, no, I am not satisfied with those 200 freaking ducats that you decided to so graciously hand me. Yes, I am exceedingly salty right now. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Estonian Separatists, be damned. That's gonna pop and I'm gonna have to deal with that too, because I have to deal with everything in this freaking game. Okay. I'm gonna have to take a break after this episode. Dear Lord, I'm so tilted I can't even I can't even explain it. After we're done sieging Rival, we will go and take back Narva. Let's be honest, we weren't gonna siege that on that tick anyway. So, right, we can do this, I guess, which is fine. And the ships that we have are good enough to start exploring with. Grab these three guys. Let's grab an explorer. Let's go over here. Let's, um, I don't know, set them up in Abo. Boy, you better go out exploring because I want some colonies. Okay. Did I not say go to Abo? Okay, whatever. West African? No, we don't care about that. We go into, uh, we go into the New World, actually, so. The Mobitic Current sounds rather interesting, really. Riga now controls the province, uh, and they just devastated Stockholm. Feels freaking fantastic. I love how they added that as a mechanic. Devastation in, like, sacking a capital, or a fort. That feels great inside, actually. Well, at least we're winning this war, and I suppose... Victory. They will cede one province to Lithuania. Nothing to me, though, because that... That would be nice or something. 39 favors. You are about to hand me literally everything you own. You understand this, correct, right? Correct, correctly, right? Correct, right? Something with words that happens to be English, maybe? Nope, 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 nope. We're walking through here, 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 here. No, wait, no. Hold on. Here, 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 here. I don't want to have to do this thing all over again that I'm doing right here. With only two transport ships, because I'm an idiot. <sighs> are we making money? No, we are not. Why aren't we making money? Because our armies are expensive beyond whatever reasoning. And we're going to be mothballing all our forts, and we're going to be keeping that up because of separatists, which is absolutely my favorite thing to deal with. Beluzaroon Separatists. Why? Because screw you, obviously, that's why. Colombian Exchange! Guess what? Colombia doesn't exactly exist the way you think it does. It's uh, it's a different new world, by the way. By the why, yes. By, by the way, by the by. Anything else we can do here before this episode ends? Well... 
Hey, your truce with Denmark is uh is coming up soon, so I guess we're gonna be conquering the rest of Scandinavia and uh with that, forming the Scandinavian nation is gonna be quite a while away, which doesn't really matter, I mean Yeah, it just doesn't really matter. Birkeland I'm gonna have to search that. Birkeland Wow, you are giving me nothing, but I mean tax is something, so I'll take it. Two loans, a total debt of ridiculous amounts. But hey, we can do this thing, and I like doing this thing, so we're gonna do this thing. Very nice, okay, that's cool. I'm, I'm okay with that. Now, uh, we could just kick things right off with, uh, with colonization. Obviously, we're gonna be colonizing against the English. Because screw the English. So, what kind of Scandinavian America does it want me to get? Uh, subject countries, colonial country, that's it. Okay. Because we have a new world, I think, is probably why things are changed. Oh, you're going down here? I mean, I didn't expect you to go down there, but okay, and apparently there's just nothing over there. That's Terra Incognita, even though like, I can clearly, I can clearly see this is, this belongs to the English already. It's not really that much Terra Incognita, if I can, if I can already see what is there. Like, I know that belongs to the English, so... Yeah? Good? Okay. We're losing money because our armies are stupid expensive. Nobody want more land. Of course the nobility want more land. You could probably pay off one loan by asking nicely, quote unquote nicely, for money. Which makes us have to pay less money per month, but in the end also more money per month because, again, screw you. That's how that works. I'm going to do a thing here that I probably should have already done and move my trading port over to there. Main trade city is already located in this node. Is it though? Is it really? It is because I clicked that button. Okay, that's, that was weird. We're going to be changing things over. We're going to be... Oh, maybe that's a wait a month. Well, yeah, click trade there. Take three days and then wait a month. Click back on it. Oh, come on. There we go. Transfer trade power. It's going to be a long string of transferring trade power, but I think we're going to be gaining more in the end here. If we, uh, if we collect in Lubeck. I think we're going to be earning a fair bit more. Maybe less. I don't really know what's going on. Maybe better things are happening. Maybe worse things are happening. I don't really know. I'm always bad with the trade system, but... Apparently Lubeck, we just earn less than we would have earned anyways, so... I don't even know. Thought it would be better for the economy. Guess it wasn't better for the economy. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we just have to conquer the rest of Denmark and we should be good. And the Pomeranians, of course, and Lubeck and... Actually, no, nothing from Denmark is important to grab. Lubeck is important to grab. They're allied with tons of people and will be protected by the Emperor, which happens to be Bohemia for whatever reason. I suppose Bohemia is like as big as Austria, so that's justified in some way, I guess. Truce to the Danish ends. We are still losing tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons, and tons of money. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that because I do not care about them. And then with these guys who are gonna sit over here, because apparently Beluzaru has literally no infrastructure to handle troops. We're gonna give um I mean who's the best guy in terms of pips? We have what is that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pips. Okay, and then we have seven pips, and then we have eight pips, and then we have seven pips. So, I mean, that's our explorer, so we can't get rid of him, but uh, I suppose this guy's gonna have to go. Who would happen to be sitting on this army? Go like that. Get rid of him, okay. Okay, that's fine. In fact, I think it might be a good idea to actually just keep him here and put that guy on him. Yeah, and then they're not so unhappy. Okay, now that's resolved. Blue's Rune Separatists are actually getting out of my face, which means we're making money again. 
Oh wow, this is exhausting. Okay. That war was absolutely exhausting. You can still grab all three techs, which is great. And keep converting things. You know, we have... Uh, well, there's unity is already still really high because of our humanist ideas. I mean, I suppose another good thing to do would just be grab the next humanist idea thing, like right now. Less than rest would be kind of a blessing right now, so... Wow, looks like our country actually isn't falling apart. Nice, nice. That's actually mildly respectable. Okay, we are, uh, we're getting somewhere here. Probably should not have joined in either of those wars, but then we would have lost Lithuania. We would have lost the French as allies. We would be left with who? None other than freaking Castile. I mean, he, they're good since they're conquering literally everything. I suppose they're going to form Spain militaristically, which is interesting at some point. Did they declare that war? They better not have declared that war, because I will be exceedingly upset. Second Castilian conquest. Wow, okay, I'm exceedingly upset then. Steal the warmongerer, apparently. Hmm. Interesting. Almost as warmongery as me. In fact, not many countries believe I'm much of a warmonger anymore, which is pretty good, I guess. Guess who forgot to up the maintenance of their armies when there were rebels? Okay. I'm gonna have to improve my multitasking skills while recording because, man, these kind of mistakes I, d I don't even make in act like actually in game, like when I'm playing alone. I don't. I've literally done that maybe once, in maybe my first or second game ever, in EU4. I don't think I've ever done that since until now. What on earth are you doing? What? What on earth were you going? That is a long name, which is right there. And you make almost no tax, almost no production, and you are garbage for trade. How about for manpower? You got any manpower? I mean, you're in Russia, so you might have some manpower. You have some manpower, I'll take it. Literally, I almost never make that mistake. Or, I don't think I've made that mistake in the past, like, three games I've played, and then here it is. Alright, well, I'm playing for, uh, for recording, of course. I make the stupidest mistakes I've ever made in-game. Might get used to the, to the whole thing after a while, but... Yeah. Yeah. Not much I can say, except, uh, it's probably a good time to put a cut in. I think the last episode was a little bit shorter than it should have been, and this episode was maybe a little bit longer than it should have been, so hey, guess it balances out. Let's check the time real quick. 2036. Oh yeah, that is definitely 100% time to wrap this up. I'll be seeing you guys in the next one, <sighs> after I get a little bit less tilted from those wars, and um, yeah, yeah, maybe I'll try and play a little bit less stupid in every action I decide to make. But I'll catch you guys in the next episode. See ya.